<laughs> okay, today's video is all about, you ready? You recognize it? What is this? Uh-huh, most of you don't know. Carrot tops. That's right. So, I went ahead and I had a box of fresh produce delivered to me. And uh, what came was fresh carrots with their tops on them. And I washed and cleaned the carrots and I was getting ready to throw the greens away and then I was like, no, wait, I believe they're edible. And I came across uh, quite a few interesting carrot top recipes. I want to share one with you today. The three that I narrowed it down to were a Moroccan inspired pesto. There was also an Indian um, carrot top sabzi. We can go Latin inspired and have a carrot top salsa. And there's also um, a Middle Eastern take. You could do like a carrot top tabbouleh. I'm gonna go ahead with the carrot top pesto. Um, it is Moroccan inspired in the sense that it contains mint and almond. I found this recipe off of the website, yupitsvegan.com. Several variations on it. Some people use walnut, some people use pine nuts. The original recipe called for um, almonds. And I also got potatoes and I wanna use up those carrots. So I'm going to make a nice vegan dish where I saute up both the potatoes and carrots and toss them in this lovely mint pesto. But yeah, it's going to be delicious. Okay, let's, let's get started. Let me show you what the ingredients are. Mint, garlic, some salt and pepper, lemon juice, olive oil. It called for scallions, which I don't have, so unfortunately I'm going to have to substitute for a little bit of raw onion. And we're going to do some toasted almonds. And then of course, the actual carrot tops. So I have these almonds toasting up here, okay, might take a second. I have a few pine nuts left, I mean not a lot, I have about this many, so I'll go ahead and use what I have left. So for the main course, which will be the potato and carrots, I do want to save some onion that I can um, grill or brown in that. So for this, I'm just going to use a little bit of onion right here probably about that much is going in the pesto i really don't want to overdo it it calls for scallions i don't have scallions so we're going to use this okay onions are in now the mint okay about that much mint now we're going to do some lemon juice and i have two lemons because they're little ones so we're going to juice both of these up okay i smell I smell these nuts here lemon juice and what I'm probably going to end up doing is um, pulsing those almonds in the food processor. I'm probably going to do that before I add the greens in, just because almonds take a long time to blend. They're not a super soft nut. Okay, in the food processor, they're smoking. And just to sort of round out the flavor, I'm going to put a few pine nuts in this. A little goes a long way. I keep my nuts in the freezer uh, because it helps to preserve them and keep the fats from going rancid. The last thing you want is for your nuts to go bad because the oils inside the nut go bad. This is the Selena Naturally brand. I really like this salt. Um, it gives such an amazing flavor and typically when you use sea salt you can't taste the saltiness and you end up using way more volume wise than you would table salt because um, uh, um, Iodized table salt is just so salty. I find that I use less of this salt than I even do Himalayan salt. Hand here. And this salt in the bag is slightly moist. Um, you'll find that with these are really good sea salts. They are not super dry and powdery in the bag. Black pepper, okay. Ready, you wanna watch the action go down. Extra virgin olive oil. Mm-hmm. To chop these greens and then add the garlic. These greens, these stems can be a little bit tough. It's maybe more even like fennel. Fennel can get tough. Um, celery, like that. Might want to blanch them ahead of time to soften them up. I did not do that, so that's part of the reason why I'm doing um, a rough chop here. Maybe that much raw garlic, I think. What a beautiful, fresh, delicious looking pesto. Okay, this is the moment. This is the real moment. Okay. 
Oh my god, that is good. This is really good. This is really good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. You can taste the mint, but it's not overwhelming. It's just, um, fresh. And you can taste just the right amount of salt. I nailed it. The lemon juice is bright. It goes really well with the mint. These carrot greens are like nutty, kind of earthy. Um, they go good with the toasted almond. They're not like a like a bitter green or they don't taste super like like grassy like kale or they're not. They don't taste like spinach. I don't know how to describe it, but they're almost like a little toasty and nutty. I have to say the flavor of these carrot greens is probably one of my favorite green flavors of all time. That's how much I actually really like this. I love collard greens and I really like these. These are like a close second to my favorite flavored greens ever. So now we're going to put it all together into a delicious vegan dinner. Okay, we got some oil getting warm in a pan here. My carrots from the delivery today, I am going to cut them on an angle here. Potatoes, gonna chop these up. Fun fact, I'm sure most of you know, potatoes are not indigenous to Ireland or to Europe. They're actually indigenous to the Americas, um, to Peru and South America. They found them in Incan burial sites going back thousands of years. And they used to be poisonous and they cleverly cultivated and bred the toxins out of the plant so that it could be eaten and um, mass cultivated. So potatoes still do have some toxin in them, but at a very, very small level at this point, modern potatoes, but I mean, so do a lot of other vegetables. That's Unless your potato has green, if you see an end or a corner of your potato that is green, you do not want to eat that. And if that potato has sprouted, you don't want to eat it, throw it away. Um, the level of toxins in a potato, once it turns green or sprouts, can actually make you pretty sick. Um, but a normal potato is fine. Okay, and we're going to do some chopped onion in here too. I want to give the onion a chance to caramelize. The pesto. So how much am I going to put in here? I'm going to start with, I'm going to say about half of this jar. Okay. So it's perfect. Perfectly coated. I have about that much left. What I might do is put this on a salad tomorrow. I could mix it in with like a little bit of possibly even tahini or thin it out and make a salad dressing out of it. There's a lot I could do with it. I'd put it on crackers. Um, I could dip fresh veggies in it and eat it. I could put it on my eggs. I could do fried eggs for breakfast and put this on there. Samosas, you could dip in this. Yeah, lots of options. Some potatoes, onions, and carrots with a Moroccan-inspired carrot top almond mint pesto. Oh, can you believe it? Okay, and I have some beet juice that I made earlier. It's a beet and cucumber. So this is going to be a very healthy meal. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Mm -hmm. That's really good. It's nice and light. It's not too strong, not too overpowering. Just enough mint. Yeah, this is great. Well, there you have it. Delicious.